What's correct, Lynn, everybody? I'm Romaster. Welcome back to The Long Drive. And uh, this is actually like the third time I've gone to record this, mostly because the first one, I feel like I got a bad seed. I drove 100 kilometers and I found nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. There is... They updated the game. There's a new vehicle in it. They changed some things because I actually... One of the reasons why I was, I'm restarting is because I got really, really annoyed. The car that I got only had a gas tank. That's all it had. There was nothing else. There's only one engine in there. There was no coolant. There was nothing in it. I don't know exactly what it was about. But I mean, the gas tank was inside on the engine and I had I didn't realize that I had to put oil in there. So I was driving maybe 10 kilometers an hour and I made it 100 kilometers if that tells you anything. And then finally I was like, "Man, I don't I don't get what's happening." And so I was running out of fuel. I only had was oil, so I put some oil in there. And all of a sudden, the, boom, the car works perfectly fine. No idea that that was a thing. I just know zero things about cars. I've never driven a manual in my life. So, as far as that's concerned, yeah, this is this is like, you know, manual to me is new. And I thought maybe it was just like because the game they changed the physics of the driving, so no longer it's supposed to it's not supposed to be as much of a like the road is made of ice and ice and like freaking glass <laughs> it's a little bit better all right so i want to grab this uh pick this up put that there that's fine and then somebody told me about the propane tank filling filling up the fuel i tried for a while did nothing i shot the propane tank it blew up everything so don't shoot a propane tank not a good idea that's not where i want that to go that's the engine <laughs> um i want to take you with me yeah, you're going in the you're going in the trunk. I forgot the trunk is in the front of this car. I just went to drop it in there. It's like, wait, it just fell right through. All right, boop. Actually, no, I'm gonna take the coolant. I didn't take it last time because we didn't have a coolant tank, so I didn't see the point. But yeah, I'm just cutting that out because I feel like I got a bad seat or something because it it wasn't. Oh, don't. Now you can drink the water. That's actually fine. Uh, throw you in there. Boop. Fall on your side. Dang it. No, stop it. I want you to go on your side. There we go. It's fine to drink that one because it actually is water. This is the gasoline though, right? Yeah. This is the one I want to actually fill up my tank on. Okay. And hopefully we will go a lot better than last time. Hopefully we'll actually find something because, I mean, there's new buildings. New buildings and a new car. What? What? Okay, you gotta be telling me what's inside this, right? It's gotta be this one. Yeah, that was weird. It was confusing me. It was going down. I thought I was, like, filling up the tank, and I'm like, why is the tank getting empty? That doesn't make any sense. All right. All right. So, now, hopefully, ignition. We up and running? We good? Turn off the e-brake. Oh, my God. It's a thousand times better than every bit of just driving I was trying to do earlier. I thought it was maybe just because I had a really crappy car, but it was literally just because there was no oil in there. So if you don't have oil in your car, I mean, it makes sense. There's no oil in your car. Your car's not going to function very well, but that was really bad. Like, I've never had it be that bad before. And I was actually annoyed because I wasn't having any fun. <laughs> I was like, they basically took all the fun away. We got, a, we got a building already. So stuff may not be as close to the road as I originally thought, I guess. All right. Well, right away we got. Oh, that's that's probably not good. Okay, let's turn off our car. Get back into this view. Pop the door open and hop out. Another propane tank. Oh, there's multiple cars in here. Oh, that's that's just a destroyed car. <laughs> can I take your? Can I, what is this? Can I take that out of there? Push. I mean, I could like put everything in here into this car, right? Uh, as far as the engine's concerned, good. I kinda, no, nah, no, nah, it's just gonna cause more weight to carry. What the heck is that? Just a water pipe? Okay, I want you, because my front bumper looks like crap. I don't know. It does it? Yeah, it looks pretty bad. This is a shiny bumper. Let's put you on. Don't 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 break the window. That's not good. Yeah, shiny bumper. And then, then back right. 
So they're both right side doors I'm gonna replace. With this cars. Because I believe they're better, right? No, maybe I was wrong. Guess we're gonna keep one of those on there. Because, yeah, this one. This one's the only good one. Alright. Put you on right there. Give me this one again. It's actually the same color, too. So it matches. Yay! Well, mostly. Okay, is any of these doors bad? No, these doors are fine. How about tires? That tire looks like crap. That tire looks like crap. <laughs> so does that one and that one. So all four tires need to be changed out. So if I can find better tires on this, I'll take those too. I don't care so much about the hubcaps, but the tires. Yeah. Oh, you can take it with the hubcap. That's nice. I actually didn't know you could do that. Okay, so I can just take that right off there. Throw that off to the side. Whoop, nope. That was too much. Okay, attached to you. There we go. We got a better tire. <laughs> I like this little pathway in between the grass. Whoa, and then the grass just grew up in front of my face. Oh, you're a crappy tire. You're a good tire on a crappy frame. All right. I'll just swap out the frame then. Uh, maybe. I mean, I don't actually know if I have a good one. I think they're all pretty bad. All right, whatever. We're just going to take you off. Boop. Toss you. Take. No. Stop it. I want this. The whole thing. Not just one. Not just a part of it. There we go. Okay. Okay. So we've got a better car. Uh, you have a better wheel. And this thing's like freaking out being up against the wall like this. You definitely have a better wheel. So give me that. Oh god. Don't freak out and kill me, please. Alright. Pop you off. No, not push the vehicle. Pop the tire off. Pop the tire off. Get out of here. They're crappy frames, but they're better tires. Looks like they have better grip anyways. You have anything in the trunk? No, I didn't think so. Um, get out of here. Nothing in the glove box either? Alright. And that tire sucks too. Okay, so nothing in here really worth value. Um... Yeah, I feel like that's a bad one, too. Okay, there's nothing inside. Now, the question is... Fuel tank. Fuel tank. 1.7. Right. I should have grabbed the empty one. Whoa. Get out of the way, bud. Over there. Oh, I didn't, I didn't grab an empty container. So, if I move the car up to the one in the back, maybe? Or, I don't know. There's gas in it. I could actually... No, there's no wheels now. Okay, can I just push you out there? Get out of here. I'm just trying to push you. Push, 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 push. No, no wheels. Not gonna work. Push, 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 push. Can I actually push the whole car over? Oh my god! Oh, scary. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. I want to flip you over completely. No, can't do it. Oh, it started dumping out the fuel. I was like, what was that? Oh, the fuel tank is empty now. That sucks. Push, 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 push. All right, well. I didn't bring an empty container because I didn't think about filling up an empty container of gas. Uh, whatever. We're just going with what we have. It's fine. Okay, so turn off e-brake. Hit the ignition. Apparently, I didn't even really need to hit the ignition because the car is like, I just want to start up on my own. All right, and then turn, and we'll keep going down the road. All right, hopefully, it won't be like the last time where I hit 100 kilometers and we don't find anything else. Because you always, you always seem to find something right at the beginning. But then it's a matter of trying to find the rest of it. But yeah, we're going to keep going down the road. I want to see what this other, this new car is that there is, and I want to see the other buildings that they added because, like I said, they added new buildings. So I'm intrigued to see what those are. It is really loud out here, too. Go back inside. Not nearly as loud. All right, the driving mechanics, yeah, they, they, it does seem a little stickier to the road. Like, there's a little bit more friction. And this is a million times better than when I was driving last time. It's like, no joke, it was 40 minutes of me just trying to get the car to actually go and making it nowhere. 
<laughs> like, I couldn't even go up a hill, and I was like, what is this deal? What is the problem? Add oil to the car, and it's just like, poof, I'm working perfectly fine. Like, okay, I'm just gonna restart the video. Hopefully it was just a bad seed, and we'll have better luck this time. Oh my god, oh my god, just stop, just, just, e-brake, e-brake. We're fine. Everything's fine. Turn off e-brake, and let's go back on the road. <laughs> it still is a little little skiddy, but I like that. That's actually one of the things that was fun about the game. That's why I was like, man, if this is really how it is, like, I gotta drive 20 kilometers of freaking, you know, 20 kilometers an hour? I like the skidding every once in a while. Like, I don't like it all the time, but I do like the skidding every once in a while. So I'm hoping, since we replace some of the tires, that we'll maybe be a bit better off. Are we already coming up to another building? Or is that just a rock? No way. Wee. Look at that. I just turned it around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's funny, too, because in the very first video I tried recording on this, I actually was literally parked right next to one of these new buildings. It was rather, it was relatively large. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up. No, get out of this view. What is that? Get, get out of the car. I didn't, br I didn't bring him. There's a ship out there. There's a ship out of the middle of the desert. Is that a ship? That's a ship. I, I, there's just a whole bunch of poos in there. I'm good. I don't need the poos. Open sesame. Let me in the door. Ooh, a new hood. I don't know how my hood is right now, but I'll take this out just in case. Especially if it's a different kind of car, then I can make that, like, weapon look in front. <laughs> Drop you right here. Take you off. I know it doesn't match, and I'm doing it on purpose. Bam. Yeah. Now I got my blade again. So if anything wants to come at me in the front, this is just going to chop it down. That's what it did to the cacti before. Hopefully it'll keep doing it. Okay, is there any sort of gas here? Just got things for the front. Boxes are like, you're not getting in. Yes, I am. You're not going to stop me. There we go. This is what I wanted. Ooh, I'm glad you're here. All right, bring out the gun for right now. Uh, Go up here. Is there anything up on the roof at all? Nope, there's nothing even up here, so there's no point to be up here. Open sesame. Oh, open sesame. Well, somebody missed the toilet a bit. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Alright, so, I want to bust out these things, because I want to know. Is that... Is there a way to get up there, or is that just going to be a decoration? I feel like it's just a decoration in the background. Just aesthetics. I don't know. Like, it's just too solid of an object. I gotta go check it out, I guess. I gotta go check it out. Alright, bring you, close you. Uh, no e break. Uh, no, I'm not going to check it out. I just realized that means I gotta drive off the road. I don't wanna drive off the road, because that never ends well for me. Woo! Okay. I can't drive with the sun in my eyes like that. I'm sure we'll probably come across something like that again and if it's in a better place, because right now it's just straight up cliffs and I don't want to die. Then I'll try to get to it, but right now it's just, it's not in the best place. Ooh, don't go crazy. Okay, we'll just slow down when we go around the corner and that's fine, everything's good. Yeah, this is definitely, it does grip a lot better than it did before. Because it's like, if you start getting up to a speed, dude, your car was just gone. Like, there was no control over what... If you had a turn, your car was just... Bye-bye! <laughs> Spin around and go crazy. But now, now there's actually, yeah, there's like a grip to the road, it feels like. Things are a little bit more fluid. I mean, I'm still, you know, going 120 kilometers an hour, so of course the car is going to be like, Oh my god, when you go to turn, but... It does feel like it grips better. And I am excited to see these new places we come across. Oh god, I'm so happy. Like I, I was I was like, man, I can't even play this game. When I was going twenty kilometers an hour, I was like, I please I hope this is just a bug. But no, no. If your car is going twenty miles an hour and you can't go any faster, put oil in the tank and you're good. That was all it was. That was all it was. <laughs> like I said, I know jack all about cars. I had a nineteen seventy something and uh 
Yeah, that car I fixed up with my dad a few times, but I still know jack all about cars. Like, I know how to drive an automatic, but even then, I hardly ever drive. Mostly because of just the way my anxiety is now. I have a very few places I can drive to the rest of the time my wife drives. So, car games is where it's at if I want to drive a car. <laughs> oh, also, I did learn that I could click the radio on. There is music on here, but there is also... Uh, I'm just going to hit the e-brake for a second real quick. Did you hit the e-brake? You did. I hit the e-brake and we didn't stop. There we go. We can change the radio station. There's some music on here. I don't know if it's copyrighted, but... There is also... What the heck? I picked up a lot of stations last time. Give me the station. It's almost there. No, I can't pick it up. This is weird. There was like 15 stations. Now there's nothing. That's music again. There's one that was talking about robots. And there's crazy music. Robots? He had a good talk. He chatted till he died. Chat till you die. FM 95. Okay, I think this may be the... Maybe music. Chat till you, yes, die, die. Okay. The future. I like to talk about the future, my man. I don't know if I have told you that already or not, but I really do. And you know what else I love? I love cars. Like, who was the genius that invented cars? I know, I know, but I think that there was a lot of people <laughs> together that invented it. I saw drawings of a 16th century or 17th century car. Well, it was planned at least. How amazing is that? People wanted to overcome great distances. And of course, horses were great. Without horses, we would not have evolved so quickly. Okay, I guess this isn't quite what I was How expecting. How weird is that? An animal sitting or riding on another animal to evolve, to develop. You know, and after that... You know, that is, a, that is, a, that is, a, that is an interesting most statement. Most I never really even thought about that. An animal like sitting on top of another animal has evolved. We take cars for granted now, but... As an evolutionary you tactic. Think about it sometimes. You have to respect cars. Let's check. Music. I got no idea what that says. I just want to find out what happened to the world. That's music. Yep, I got no idea. I got no idea. If it's in another language, then I'm never going to know. <laughs> but yeah, there is the radio, and there's a lot of little stations you can turn on. There is some that are just music and everything, too, which is cool. All right, I'm going to go back to this to drive, because it's a lot easier for me to drive like this than it is to drive in the first-person view. Mostly because I can see everything around me, and apparently adding that hood has made this little blur effect go on. That a little bit more difficult to drive. At nighttime, I may be passing things by, for all I know, because it is nighttime. I can't see the things on the side of the desert. Don't hit that giant rock in the middle of the road, please. Thank you. I don't care about the cacti so much. Boom. Like I said, that thing in the front of my car, like, by having that hood there, I learned last time. It totally... It doesn't even... I don't, I don't stop with the cacti pretty much. Which is perfectly fine with me. Hit a cactus and just keep going. I think it looks like there may be something up here to the left, but I don't know. I will see you when we get to the next place. So there's two things. There's two things. One, what is that? Open sesame. Okay, turn off the car. I don't, I don't want to... Don't want to burn it through fuel if it doesn't have to. So there's a red light on top of that tower now. There's another red light right here. Oh, it's just an antenna. Okay. Like, I see multiple things out in the desert. I don't know what they are. I'm gonna go back to this gas station. I'm not walking over there. Okay. 
start back up, turn this off, and we're just gonna back up really quick, and then we're gonna go over here. I'm just gonna leave my door open, I don't care. I'm gonna door this. Bam! I, I did. Oh god, oh god, e-brake. Okay, this has a lot more get up and go than it did a little bit ago. Like I said, I was, I was sitting there going at 20 miles an hour, so I'm still kind of sitting on 20 miles an hour thought. All right, um, is there anything in the sky? Is it turning night to morning time? Can I sleep for the rest of the morning? Thank you. Oh God, did I sleep till like midday? No, stop sleeping. Stop sleeping. All right, we need gasoline. We got a little bit of gasoline, not a whole lot, but it's it's some, so that's not bad. It'll at least be enough to keep us trucking. Do 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 do. Yeah, I mean we're doing good. That was my whole thing too. It's like there, with how slow it was going, I'm like, there's no way, there's no way I can. Oh, you look cool. Are you the front bumper? Or are you the back bumper? I don't honestly know. We're gonna find out. Take you off. All right, I'm down. I dig that one. This is like comic book. We got better tire. I think there's one tire I needed to replace still. Yeah, this one back here. Oh, whatever. I don't care about that. Okay, just give me the tire for it. There we go. Take the good tire. Put that on there. Put that on. Oh, I wasn't close enough. Oop, there we go. I don't know the point of hubcaps. I actually don't know the point of hubcaps in real life even. Like, I've never figured out why you would necessarily need a hubcap. But whatever, at the same time, like, it, I mean, you may, may just want it. Just to make your car look shiny. Me personally, I've always been, this is my car. It gets me from point A to point B. I don't care what it looks like. It could be, literally be the biggest beater in the world. I wouldn't care. As long as it functions like it's supposed to. All right, there we go. We got our we got our gas. Actually, you know what? I lied. I remember last time I was like, you know, I kind of wish I'd have taken an empty thing with me so I could have used that little hose or whatever. So I mean, it's empty. Let's take us take this with us. So if I end up getting another car that's stuck inside of something, then I could just do that. I'm gonna throw you in here, mostly because my trunk is getting full, and it's also weird like that because it's being all strange and. I put the crazy blade looking thing. I mean, this is the apocalypse, right? That's the way I look at it. This is the apocalypse. We're going to turn our vehicle into a Mad Max style craziness. Have our blades on the front. <laughs> Made of a different kind of cars. You know. <laughs> Body pieces. And then I'll do the same to the back if I end up having to. Or if I find one like that. Because it'll be entertaining. You know what, though? How far are we driven? Does it tell me? We've driven... 138 already? No way. No way. The furthest I've ever driven before was 142. Oh god. Oh god, I'm off the road. We good? We good? We good. Everything's fine. <laughs> Alright. Back to driving again. You still lose control. I went up the hill and I like kind of got a little bit of air. When I got out that air, it was just like, bye. Okay, so real quick, let's check. Is there something in front of me? I don't see anything up here. But it looks like I may be able to connect back up there, so I'm gonna do something a little crazy because I wanna go check out this thing. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Look at that, everything is fine. Let's hit the e-brake real quick. I'm gonna get out of the car and make sure everything is fine. Um, <laughs> I've taken out a few cactuses along the way. Apparently, I decided that I wanted these cactus chunks too. Uh, wait a second. Oh, this is the coolant, right? Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! I left that thing wide open. Oh god! Hate it when I do that so much. Well, it's a good thing I got out when I did then. Oil tank is at 3.5. Coolant is at 3.5. That's fine. Okay, so I want to go check out this big ship. Because that's, that's something that's new. 
I want to know if it actually is a thing. Oh, I gotta turn off my heat break. I want to know if it is actually a thing. Or if it's just dis decoration. Because it looks like there may be a hole in the side we could go into. All I know is I'm intrigued. Go back to my normal position. Okay, I feel like you're in my way. There we go. What just happened? That was a weird thing that happened. I was like inside the front of the dashboard. I didn't like it. <laughs> All right, giant ship. What's up? You just hanging out here? Because all the oceans are dried up. So is there a way on board? So I mean, like I said, there's like a hole right here. But I think this is maybe aesthetics. I think it is. Okay, well, no, I don't want to do that. Can I just remove you? I can. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, this is just aesthetics. Okay. But there's just ships that are crashed out here in the freaking middle of nowhere. Alright. Oh, I left my car on. Whoops. I had to come check it out at least, because this is something that's new. I've never seen the ship before. I mean, I remember somebody saying that on the radio it does actually talk about how there's no oceans anymore and stuff like that. But honestly, everybody on the radio just sounds super happy. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. It doesn't sound like it's apocalyptic. I just drive back up here, I think, just right over this way. There's no there's no ketchup on the, on the car. So that means that, uh, you know, I should be good to take a few more crashes, crash beatings. Hopefully I can... Yeah, it looks like I can just get right back on the road over here. That's right, Cactus. Get out of my way. I am the king of the road in the desert. Because there's nothing else out here. Oh, God. Woo! Too far. Too fast. Don't go off the other side. <laughs> I almost did go off the other side. All right, but there wasn't anything behind us? No, I didn't see anything. That's the real reason I went off the road, and I figured I would go check that thing out. Because there was nothing there. So how far have we driven now? 216 kilometers. So we've actually gone further, unless there was already some stuff on there. We've already gone further than I've ever gone before. There may have been mileage on this thing before I started. But I don't think so. I'll have to look at that in the edit to find out. Let me know. I'm, I honestly don't know if there was, there was already mileage on here before I started. But yeah, this, I mean, like, at this speed, when I would try to take a turn before, if I didn't slow down, the car would go off the road. Guaranteed. Now it doesn't seem to have that same effect. Actually, that, that looks new, too. Because I don't remember there being a cone one that has, a, like, a cone top to it. There's another antenna down there as well. Uh, I mean, I don't see an easy way to get back up again. Looks like this is just cliffside all the way around. So we'll just have to keep an eye out for that one. I mean, I do have... Real quick, real quick. To the e-brake. Four. Can I look at it through this? Oh god, it's so dark. Huh. <laughs> Alright. I mean, it just has antennas on it. <clears throat> I don't know exactly what that is. Oh, this is the stars. I was like, what the heck is that? Anything else out here? What? Oh. I'm like, oh my god, what is this? It's just a... Just a light thing. Just looking up at the sky. <laughs> like, is there aliens? I kept hearing word about aliens. I want to see aliens. I could sleep through the night, but where's the fun in that? I gotta keep driving. Oh yeah, that was amazing! That was... That was a perfect turnaround. I was like, oh god, I lost control. Nope, we're good. And this immediately skidded back. There's another ship right there. Alright, so we found a building. Um, can I park? Thank you. Get out of this view. Open the door. Alright, oh god. Boxes just blocking my view. Plop. Plop. Okay, so there's... This is gasoline. Alright, I wasn't expecting to find gas in this container. That's good for me. I don't know where we're sitting on gas. I know. I think I lost some when I left the thing open, so that's unfortunate. That's really all the gas that was in there? Oh, God. Alright, well, there's a red hood right there. Oh. It's the same kind of hood that I already have, so I just don't care. What's this? 
Oh, a light. Yeah, I don't actually have a placement for it, so whatever. Propane tank. I kind of want to shoot this again. Mostly because it's super entertaining when it explodes. I just want to make sure my car's nowhere nearby. Um, can I please go back outside? Thank you. Alright, let's see if I can get it to a place that I can shoot it. Right there inside the door looks good. Alright, first off, because I did this before and I thought this is what I thought I'd actually broken my car because of this. So I'm just gonna move the car away a little bit. We're gonna park it right here. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Alright, reload. Close that thing up. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is gonna be entertaining. Okay, you see where this thing is right here? Remember that. It's in the middle of the road. Is there something on top? Well, I guess we're gonna find out in a second. I'm gonna get as far back as I can. Hide behind this rock. I mean, I'm fine, but I'm pretty sure I just blew up all the lights. That one thing that was here, remember I said was right here? It's gone. Like, it shot it off into the distance. Uh, I'm gonna sleep through the night, because it's super dark. This is crazy. Wake up in the morning with the sunlight so I can see again. Can I see it out there? Did I, did I, can I even see where it, it got shot off to? No? It's just, it's just gone out there into the desert. <laughs> like, it's crazy on how much force those explosives have. Look what it did to the glass. Or is that just the way the glass looks generally? Everything in here is all destroyed. That thing went into the ground. <laughs> I didn't even check back here. So if there's anything back here, well, it's gone now. So that, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Hopefully there wasn't anything important back there. All right, well, I'm just gonna continue along the road and we're gonna see what we can find next. There's another one of those. Anything else out here? No. Nah. All right. Boop. And actually, real quick, I just want to see how much gas we have exactly. I slept through the night, so yeah. Okay, we have 1.9. How about you? Uh, 3.5, 3.4. All right. So we're still good on cooling and everything else, too. Good, good, good. Turn off e-brake and truck on down the road again. Every time I get in the car, I have to reset my view. It's weird. Oh god. Woo! Woo! I love it. These, like these hills now. I don't, I don't remember it really happening as much before. But you, you get a little bit of air, and that little bit of air, it's like I'm gonna kind of make your car bounce around all, all crazy. It's a little, little. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I'm going pretty fast. How fast am I going? 120. Yeah, those like those hills. It just gives your your car like this nice little bounce that almost completely throws it out. And I feel like it it, it would have before, but now it's a little less ice all over the road. <laughs> so you don't slide around. I mean, obviously there's not actual ice on the road. Just, that's that's what it's like driving on this. Like there was a couple of comments that I just I laughed about because they're like, oh, you're so terrible at driving. It's like, man, when you're driving on like whatever this road is made out of, like ice and freaking water and stuff. Like, <laughs> that and also going 120 miles an hour, you know. That's, uh, I've gone 105 before in a car. And that was terrifying. 120, you would definitely be, like, losing control very quickly. And the only reason I was able to make it to 105 was because I was going down a hill in a freaking giant steel car. With nobody else in front of me, nobody else around was back when I was a teenager and I did reckless stupid things. Don't do reckless stupid things. You want to survive. You want to live. Doing reckless stupid things in a car, that's a good way to get yourself killed. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I, I haven't seen anything still come up. Oh god, oh god, not off the road, not off the road. Not off the road, not off the road. Thank you, Rock. You actually may have just saved my life. <laughs> like, no joke. You may have just saved my life. Uh, so one thing I want to know, though, is how far have we driven now? 322 kilometers. Holy crap, this is double the furthest I've ever driven. 
doesn't seem right. Is kilometers going up faster this time around? I don't know. Maybe it wasn't equating it, all of it before. I don't know, I guess maybe I've driven pretty far. I don't, I don't, it still feels like it isn't, hasn't been that much. I'm gonna take this to 500. That's where we're going, we're going to 500 kilometers. Oh God, I hit a rock, I hit a rock in the road, I hit a rock in the road, I hit a rock in the road. No, no. Everything was fine before this moment. And now the car doesn't know what's happening. Okay, we're good. Did I get ketchup on the window? No, we're still alive. Hurrah! All right, I just simply need to find a way back up, which looks like I can get back up over here. Only thing that, oh my God, when you're in the desert though, like on the road, you, you steer pretty well. In the desert, you kind of just go all crazy. Whoa, I'm looking through the world. It's freaking me out. Hopefully there wasn't any buildings up there. I don't think I saw any, but if there is, I'm gonna have to come back for them. Oh my God. This thing just went insane. We still have all our stuff in here, too. Nothing's been thrown out of the car yet, which is awesome. I'm not I'm not a fan of gathering all the stuff once it does. Oh, God, there's no way up. Oh, it's just... It's just... Nothingness. I don't see any buildings up there, so that's at least the positive of it all. But holy crap, why don't you get back up? Through the desert we go, I guess. It looks like right there I can finally climb back up. I hope I didn't pass anything. I am probably to the point that I'm gonna be needing some gas here soon. Oh my god, look at my tire. Look at my tires. What is wrong with my tires? They're breaking the boundary of the fourth wall. They don't understand what is happening. <laughs> They're being ripped apart. <laughs> I don't understand. All right. Up here, I'm really hoping that I didn't miss anything. So I'm looking for these new buildings, and I don't, I, I know what one of them looked like. Like I said, I saw it right away in the very beginning. I may have actually clicked some, clipped some of the footage in there if I hadn't deleted it already. I think I may have actually deleted it already. Uh, stop for a second. Okay, e brake. You're looking in front of me. I don't see anything over there. All right. No, it doesn't look like there's any buildings back there. I guess we're just gonna keep trucking forward. 372 kilometers so far. Good God. All right, that's crazy. I didn't realize we'd gone that far. Temperature-wise, we're in the green. Are you falling down, by the way? I can't honestly tell. I'm trying to put this thing like right in the middle. See if it is. I don't. I don't think so. And this is our actual tank. It's getting very, very, very low. Turn off e-brake and let's just go. Oop. Go back out to Carvian. I don't know what it is about this that just entertains me so much about driving in this view. It's almost like it just, it just makes me think of Grand Theft Auto driving on there. Boo doop 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 doop. Looks like we got a gas station. Where's the new buildings, man? Come on. I see it right away when I try to record the first time and the game was not working right. Uh. I'm alive still. Okay, I actually thought maybe that one might have done some damage to me. Uh, can I please back my car up? Oh god, what have I done? Okay, we're fine. <laughs> it's like, I think I broke my car. <laughs> Alright, e-brake. There we go. Get out the car. Get out the car. Trying to open up the door and completely miss. Yeah, you should have gasoline, right? Yes, 1.3. Yeah. Nope, I don't want to open you. I didn't mean to do that. Put you down. Close that. 1.2. Alright. Fuel tank. We'll be kind of up there. It's not going to be a full three gallons, but I don't care. It's still better than nothing. Got another bumper. We got... What is this? Is this a glove box? I think so. And then apparently this is a seltzer thing. So many poos. Who keeps taking all these poos and puts them up on the roof? Good lord. Alright, whatever. Whatever, you have fun with your roof poop. I'm going in here. And I'm going back on the road. Oh god, it's so blinding bright. 
It's one of the reasons I like this too, because then I don't have to have that like sun right in my eyes. Boo doo doo! I can't believe we haven't found one of these new places yet. Makes me say it. I can't find one by 500, then I'll just I'll I'll try to clip in the part where I found it in the very beginning. Because this is craziness. It's already been about an hour, almost an hour. That's not including the other recordings. <laughs> I can't see even in this mode, I was wrong. Oh god. Here we go. We're good, we're good? We're good. Don't drive off the road. Looks like we're finally coming up with something. I've been driving for a while. Like, I've been driving for a while. I actually hit a small little rock in the road too, and I think, yeah, I kind of messed myself up a little bit. A little bit of ketchup on the car. I also looked at the patch notes again real quick because I wanted to see if maybe I missed something, and I did. It looks like the propane tank no longer can be used as fuel, so it could originally have been used as fuel, but now you can't do it. So there's that. Uh, let's open this up. I gotta be running out of gas here because I've been driving forever. Yeah, we got one liter left. Been driving forever. Open sesame. Uh, where are your lights? Light switch. Whoa, there is a lot of stuff in here. They said that the old buildings have been updated as well. There's <laughs> a poo I can hang for my my stuff. I'm good. Actually, I do want to take you. Give me this. I'm going to go fill up the oil in the car. Because, ow, sunlight, evil. Oh, wait, that's right. It's not here. It's on the other side. Right here. Badoo. Yeah, I was say, we aren't, we aren't full on oil. Ideally, I would like it to be full if we could. At least as full as I can get it. That was all the oil? Good lord. And there's more oil cans in here. Alright, so there we go. Got more oil right here. Grab it. There's a whole bunch of stuff inside here. My god, that brightness. Bill. <laughs> it's like just a whole bunch of almost empty, empty containers. Another one? Yep, 0.5 in this one too. Alright. So we got 1.5 basically total. I don't even know if that's actually right. There we go. 4.6. Not too shabby. Uh, propane tank. That is water. This is gas. Okay. Only 0.3 though. I'm hoping one of these other containers also has gas because that would be nice. Oh, I was on the right side. It's right here. No, don't drink it. Yeah, I just drank some. Dang it. Alright, how about you? Water. How about you? Oil. There's a lot of stuff in this one. There's more stuff in here than I've seen in any of the places. There we go. We got our oil full. Okay, well, I can close it now. Coolant tank. I can get some coolant. Is the one I just threw over here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't there a minute, right, minute ago. Oh my god, there's so many parts in here. So many different parts in here. Just kind of like looking around to see what part... Ooh, here we go. Finally, I got something to hang in there. Ah. I want the new car smell. I, 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 was, I always enjoyed that one. Uh, hang it from there. <laughs> okay. So, what I'm wondering... Jump, 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 climb up the building. Somebody said I could do it. I wanted to try it still. I can't do it. It won't let me. Uh, is this like another engine? Nah, I'm good. That's the engine that I had in the other car that sucked. What's happening over there? Alright, is this just more oil? Yeah, we don't need more oil. Is that a... Oh, a headlight. What are you? You're empty. Alright, well, you're water. I'm gonna go take this out there. I'll fill it up with the water that we have here. Not gonna be a lot, but... It'll be something. No way! Really? That's all that was in there? That's craziness. Alright, well, whatever. This one is full of water. So we can at least fill it up with this. Oh, I was like, wait, what? 20 liters? It can't hold 20 liters. That's how much is 
That's how much this container can hold itself, not the actual coolant. <laughs> My god, it takes a lot, though. Really? Oh, it's full now. We're good. Okay, so we have our coolant full. We have our oil full. Gasoline. Now nah, your your water. Your oil. All right, I guess we're done. I guess we're good. There's a lot of stuff here, though. This is cool. What about around back? Let's go check that out real quick. Nothing. Nothing around back. All right. All right then. Um, a little bit of ketchup spread everywhere. That's okay. That's fine. It's a lot of blood. <laughs> All right. Well, back on the road. We are currently at 544 kilometers. We've driven. I said I was going to 500. We've surpassed 500 now. I was just trying. I just want to find some of these new buildings. How come I can't find them? I had to start a whole new save, and that was the reason why I started from the beginning. Because if you're not in a new save, you won't even see them. Oh god, this is why I stay in this view, because then I can actually see where I'm going better. Doo doo doo, there we go. Alright, I'm going to drive at least to the next place. I may end up ending it after that one, but I will be back with more in the future to see these new places and new car as well. I, I was waiting for an update to happen, and an update happened. But, fortunately, it's not the type of stuff that I was hoping for. Oh god. Yay! I saw this, and I want to go over here. I don't know if there's anything here, but... I mean, I gotta check. Gotta check. Let me out of the car. Assume I could just hippity-hop up this thing. Hippity-hippity-hippity-hop. Up, up, up. Nope, nothing here. So we can just look around from here. Just like a little tower. To spying purposes. All right, well, down and go. Oh, please don't fall and die. All right, we're good. <laughs> I just don't. I don't know how, how where that where exactly that fall damage starts, you know. So, just to be on the safe side. Right, 554 kilometers so far. Furthest I've ever driven. Actually, I, I honestly feel like maybe it just wasn't registering before, on how far we'd have driven. Because I mean, I don't feel like I've gone that far. Oh no. I barely tapped it. No! Luckily, we're back here again. So we haven't gone very far. Actually, real quick before I go anywhere, let me get out of the car. You're closed, right? Everything closed in here? Yes? Okay, it's all closed. Fuel tank. Alright. I'm glad I made sure to check. That could have sucked otherwise. Could have really sucked. Alright, sadly, it's not a new place. Not a place we haven't seen before, but it is a place at least to get some stuff at, which is good, because right now I am currently running on fumes, I think. Okay, drop the car. Let's get out of the car. Boom. Do you have something in you? By chance that's gonna help me? 0.3 of gas? Oh god. So bad. Well, it's enough to at least bring us back to one liter. Oh god. Tell me there's more gas in here, please. Nope, propane tank. This is water, right? Yeah, this is just a ton of water. Oh, this sucks. Well, let's go up here. I don't think there's anything up here. It hasn't been so far, but who knows this time. Oh, uh, there's something. No, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I can't jump off here. I forgot about that. Boop, boop. All right, what around back? How about around back? Anything back here? Just a whole bunch of poos on the roof again. I don't understand. I don't understand how somebody poops on the roof. All right, so how far have I traveled? I have traveled 650 kilometers. Holy crap. All right, I think I am going to end it here because I'm on like an hour and a half right now in recording. Um, I am going to come back with more so we can find some of these new places make sure everything's closed up. Boop. Do I have anything? That, how are you looking? Five liters. Five liters of water and oil are full. We have one liter of gasoline. 
Uh, yeah. Rita's gonna hopefully make it there next time. I don't know why, but that light, that light bulb entertained me. But yeah, yeah, this is, uh, they're, they're like, uh, the, the driving is much better, I feel, than it was before. It's a lot more handle, like, a lot more, it, you can handle it a lot better. And it's a lot more, it makes sense when it starts going out of control. But, yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.